Yes, what up guys, it's Carol. Welcome to yet again another video and today we're going to show you guys how to make a template in FL Studio and also how to integrate the Code49, since some of you asked, I, I look at the comments, uh, how to integrate the Code49 or actually some other MIDI like the MPK Mini by Akai or whatever MIDI controller you have, how to actually use those fine looking mixer buttons. I hope you can see it on the screen right now. First of all, they look cool, but second of all, uh, this can be very beneficial for your actual workflow. So yeah, let's dive right into it. All right, so let's suppose I was in the process of creating a new template right now. If you don't know how to do this, there are many other videos on YouTube that show you how to do this. It will sort of like make no sense if I would make another video on this because there's so much stuff out there. I know in the mix, the YouTube channel has a great video on it. He explains it very well. That's where I learned from. But let's suppose I was in that process right now. So if you would like to use your mixer buttons in your actual workflow, which currently are not set up, so they don't do anything. But if you want to use those, first you go to a master, uh, right click on the volume knob, you go to link to controller. Don't touch any, oh, I touched something. That's how you fuck up. And we are back. So the right way is <laughs> going to link to controller. And then you have this screen. Don't touch anything like I did just before. Only just move up the master button and you can already see it synchronizes the movement of your hand. Then you're gonna wanna do this for every single other mixer. Again, this screen, just go to the second one, move it up and down and it's already synchronized. Go to the third one, link to controller, up and down there fourth I hope you get it by now and then you can do this for uh, every single one of them which is a total of nine including the master so you can do that up till here now personally I sometimes like to mess with the swing in my projects you can do this in the channel rack right now I'm doing it with my computer mouse you can also do it with your trackpad but I actually like to also link it to controller and then use this one right here and as you can see it also synchronizes another option might be using these eight knobs as panning buttons such as the track one i go to the panning i right click again go to link controller and then i make this first one Panning, control the panning on the first track. Go to the second one. Also link to controller. Move the second one. And again, it's synchronized. Just make sure, sure you save the template with all these link to controllers set up already. Right, so this is my actual template I always use. It's loaded up every time I open a new project. It always has a Steinway piano, so I can easily makeup uh, melody it always has a guitar input ready with an Edison so I can easily press record and just play my guitar right here then it also has a microphone input and every single mixer track has my most used plugins already loaded up I just have to turn them on and then I can easily use those of course the code 49 is also integrated with all the mixer buttons up until track number eight and then the swing right here is also linked and i can make this more difficult but this is just what i use you can link up even this delay button right here link to controller and perhaps use this one and it works too but this is just my preference it's quite easy but you can make it as complicated as you want just to fit your personal workflow with whatever you use guys i really hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful in some way possible if it was make sure to press like if it wasn't press dislike and please let me know why so i can make better videos for you guys also make sure to subscribe to the channel we're almost at 
100 subscribers, I think. So make sure to subscribe. Uh, it helps the channel grow. It helps me out. And um, yeah, until the next one. Cheers. Oh, also, if you have any ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Ciao.